Hey everybody, I'm Jack Reed with Future Pastimes. I'm the designer of The Adventures of Conan. In this video, I wanted to take a closer look at another one of the characters that you can play. And this would be for a three or four player game. It's another ally and it is Alvazar. So Alvazar uh, shows up in a few different uh, issues uh, in the Dark Horse comic books. Uh, he's kind of a wise cracking character uh, and he's got a couple of interesting uh, abilities. So, um, each side of the character card has a different special ability, lets you know the core dice, uh, and allies are always in whatever kingdom Conan is in, so there's no starting kingdom. Um, so let's take a look at, first we're going to start with the dark green side, there's dark green and a light green side. So the dark green effect for Alvazar is in the main phase, uh, you may use all of you of any result to advance on the plot track instead of all characters. For example, all moves. So what does that mean? Well, normally for any character in the main phase, if you have rolled a character result, and remember for an ally, that is the, uh, the little tankard there or flagon. For Conan, it's the battle axe. And for foes, it's the hand symbol. Uh, if you've rolled characters as an action, you can spend characters to move up on the plot track. Uh, the number of dice you have to spend is equal to the chapter number. So if you're moving onto a space on chapter one, it would only be one die that you have to spend. If you're moving on to chapter three, for example, you would spend three dice that have character results as one action in order to move up. And remember, when you're moving up on the plot track outside of the resource phase, you get victory points for moving up to whatever that chapter number is, but you don't get any other rewards. So the reason you might want to do that, though, is, uh, again, the farther along the plot track you get, um, if you get to the end, that will trigger the end game. Uh, and for most plots, if you get to chapter three, that's going to unlock a free die at the start of each round. So that's one of the main reasons why you'd want to move up. Uh, but Alvazar's ability here is he can use all of any result so let's say that after you've rolled your dice for the main phase, uh, normally you're looking to see, oh, how many characters did I roll? Because I could use those. But let's say that you, you rolled two or three move symbols and you can decide, well, you know what? I'm going to spend these as Alvazar. I'm going to spend those to move up on the plot track. Uh, so it just gives Alvazar more flexibility. It's easier for Alvazar to get up on that, get further along the plot track. Um, the other ability, the one that's on the light green side, is interesting. So it, it, for here it says, gain two victory points each time you place a die on the encounter track. So the encounter track is the track here, and I'll bring it up here on the board. It's on the board. And let's see if we can find it. Here we go. So the encounter track. Remember, this is what unlocks encounters, and it's going to take a number of dice equal to the number of players. So again, if you're playing with Alvazar, it's going to be at least three, possibly four players. So it's going to take three or four dice to do it. Um, and what will happen is if you get, to, if you reach that threshold, then the Conan character will have to face off on any encounters that match their location at the end of the main phase. Um, so Alvazar actually is incentivized to make that happen because you're going to get two victory points each time you place a die up on that track. Um, now, placing dice on the encounter track has a couple of effects. Besides that, you're unlocking the encounters um, in, is a, as a way to help Conan and yourself out. Uh, every one of the allies' dice up here, or Conan's dice, uh, means that it's one fewer dice that the foe can put up there. Because remember, when you do roll on the encounters, both Conan and an ally have to set aside a number of dice equal to the number of foe dice on the encounter track. So if a, there's a lot of foe dice on here, it's going to make it very difficult, maybe even impossible, to defeat an encounter. So if Alvazar's got some dice up there, that's interfering with the, uh, the, the foe from really causing a lot of trouble. Um, and then, of course, when you do make a roll, so let's say Conan makes the roll, uh, but doesn't get all the results needed to defeat that encounter, um, 
then the next player in player order will roll. And if it's if it's Alvazar, uh, or whenever Alvazar does get a chance, you got to keep in mind that any result that's on the encounter track that matches one that you need for that encounter uh, is an automatic success, which means you won't have to roll it. So anytime you want to put dice on the encounter track, uh, you're looking, hopefully, to put a die up there that will make it easier for you to defeat the encounter if you do get a chance to roll. Uh, but uh, Alvazar gets that extra incentive of two more victory points each time that he does it. So that's what Alvazar does. Uh, it's uh, it's interesting, I, I find, anyway, uh, because it's uh, very different from what a lot of the other characters do. Um, so it uh, one side really incentivizes... Uh, the ally to unlock those encounters, um, and the other is to use those dice as a way to just get uh, farther down that plot track, um, which also gives you victory points, uh, but gets you closer to unlocking a die and closer, ultimately, to triggering the end of the game. Um, so that's how it works. If you have any questions about Alvazar or any of the other characters or anything having to do with Adventures of Conan, let me know in the comments. That's it for this one, everyone. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.